My name is Kathleen nisbet monsey I'm a second generation shellfish farmer here in uh, Willapa Bay. My parents started Goose Point Oyster in the 1970s and I am currently running our businesses here. Willapa Bay and Grace Harbor are absolutely stunning estuaries. They are teeming with life on a lot of different fronts and we are considered one of the healthiest, most productive estuaries in the U.S. And one of the reasons why is because oyster farmers and clam farmers have been stewards of this estuary since the 1920s. In Pacific County, the number one private employer is the shellfish industry. Every single farm down here is suffering impacts from brewing shrimp. Burning shrimp have had the highest record of recruitment ever in 2014 and 2015. The issue has exploded exponentially for growers and has expanded significantly out into other habitats. If you have not seen burrowic shrimp before. When they dig their burrows and filter the nutrients out of the sand, that's when the ground gets soft and the oysters sink. It's gotten worse and worse over the years and it's had a severe impact on mostly the small family farms that have thrived here for five to six generations. Shellfish farmers took the lead on burrowing shrimp management for decades. It's it's bigger issue than we can handle on our own. It's out of our hands. The IPM Working Group has been a key part of the most recent successes on looking at alternative controls for burrowing shrimp. Well, the approach we're taking to burrowing shrimp management is following the IPM principles of integrated pest management. We are able to find microorganism that already occurs in nature that are very selective to just the pest and don't harm the environment or people or other organisms. We've been very successful at discovering microbes that kill a burrowing shrimp, but then turning it into a commercial product will take some time. So it's going to take a sustained effort to go from the discovery phase to finally a product that's out the door for farmers. We've done everything from looking at uh, microwaves or Roombas that would go along the bay floor. Mechanical controls, which includes compaction, vibration, harrowing. So looking at nano bubbles um, and delivery mechanisms of air pockets to be able to manage shrimp, organic pesticide options. I'm really impressed by what the IPM Working Group has been doing because it's looking at all different solutions by looking at real innovation and pushing the envelope on all different ways to, to control the shrimp. Ultimately, there will be a very good and safe and environmentally friendly solution from this effort. And without that group, we wouldn't be where we are today. We're hoping at the end of this process that we'll have multiple different tool options that farmers can bring to their farm. The backbone of our communities is natural resources. I mean, we are fishing, we are aquaculture, and we are timber. We need options to be able to continue to thrive so that we aren't just a posted stamp on a map that doesn't exist anymore.